Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here at the DZB, thank you guys for stopping by. I really appreciate your support and I hope that you enjoy this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a collective haul from a few thrift stores that I've gone to over the past two or three days. So I've got a small haul for you, lots of great finds, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first item I'm going to show you is by the brand Altered State. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you've probably heard me say that I don't really pick up Altered State very much, but I thought this cardigan was really pretty. It has this tribal aztec -y vibe going, and I really like that. So maybe, maybe it's just personal preference. Maybe I just picked this up because I really like it, but it's not my size. It's a size medium, so maybe if I lose some weight, I could wear it, but right now I cannot. So I'm going to try to sell this. I'm thinking I'll be able to get between $25 and $30 for this. I paid five. Moving right along are these really cute page denim cut-off distressed shorts. Um, since we are moving into spring, I am starting to fill my closet for the spring and summer. And shorts is definitely a staple. Paige is not a brand that I always pick up either. These were only $4, and since I'm trying to build my spring summer collection, I went ahead and picked these up. I'm thinking I'll get between $25 and $30 for these, and I paid four. Next is a Bolo brand. Everyone should know this brand. If you are picking something up to resell or just for yourself, it's the brand Barefoot Dreams. This is the Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic, Cozy Chick, however you say it, Fuzzy Cardigan Sweater. Super cute, it's in a size medium, very cozy, very soft, retails for like $150, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to resell this for about 60 bucks. Going along with my spring, summer pickups, is this really, really pretty, if you can see it maxi dress it's a floral with these bubble sleeves tie neck ruffles around the collar it's by the brand vici vc it's in a size small but it's kind of oversized and it has let me see if i can show you it has a slip under it so and it's that tiered look. It has that prairie vibe, that peasant, bohemian style. So I think this will do really well. And I only paid $5. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to sell this for between $40 and $50. Bucks. Moving on along, it's one of my favorite brands to find. Can you guess what that is? It is Lululemon. That's the Lululemon logo. This is a skirt. Kind of a dressier skirt, athleisure skirt. It still had the pull tag, which doesn't always happen with Lululemon. So I was very happy to find this. It has pockets, great find. I usually don't look in the skirts because skirts usually don't flip well for me, but this particular day in the thrift store was kind of slow. So I started looking at the skirts and I found that. So I'm very glad that I went ahead and looked at the skirts that day. I think I'll be able to get $30 for that, and I paid for. Next is another Lululemon, and this is a, I think it's called a scuba sweatshirt. I think that's what it's called. It's just a pullover sweatshirt, hoodie. There's the logo again. Make, set, make sure you are familiar with that logo. I pretty much always pick up Lululemon unless it's in bad condition. Um, this also still had the pull tag. It's a size 2, and I'm thinking I'll get at least $50 for this. Lululemon really, um, I think I was on fire this week or something when it came to finding Lululemon. Because I found this, and it's by Lululemon. It's Aviva, but that's like the kids version of Lululemon. And this is a really cute reversible jacket look at that isn't that cute for little girls a size 12 so you can wear it on the gray side or you can wear it on the pink side super cute 
great for transitioning to spring. I think this is going to be great in somebody's closet. So, yeah, very cute. And I think I'll probably get $30 for that, and I paid $3. Another Lululemon find is this sweater. And it has this really sexy open back. And so I can see someone wearing a really cute sports bra under this, um, like on the way to the gym. Take the sweater off while you're there, work out, and then put this back on, especially when you're transitioning out of this cooler weather into the summer or spring. So especially the spring, especially if you go in the morning um, when it's kind of cold. So this is perfect for that. It did not have the pull tag, so I did have to measure it to see what the size is. And this has the metal Lululemon tag, if you can see that. I'm expecting to get about $40 to $50 for this. Okay. Like I said, Lululemon was hot for me this week. This is another Lululemon sweater. It's a cashmere wool blend. And here is the logo. There. Super soft, very cute. Um, even though we are moving into spring, I still will pick up sweaters just because sweaters are a staple. And I find that I list anything, any time of the year, and it will sell, especially something like Lululemon. If I see it, I'm going to buy it. And this sweater, I'll probably get maybe $50, $55, $60 maybe. We'll see. And I think this might be the last Lululemon, you guys. This is also a um, scuba sweatshirt pullover. And this has the hood on it with the little ponytail holder. Or not holder, but you can put your ponytail through it. Here is the logo. It's in a really pretty teal color. It has the thumb, head, thumb holes here. It has a reflective... Where are the thumb holes? There they are. Right there, thumb holes. It has this little reflective panel. Super, super cute. The interior is lined. And it also had the pull tag, which is not common when finding Lululemon, especially in the thrift store. It's a size 4. So super cute kangaroo pockets, really cute color for the spring. So I definitely think this will do well. Now, made well. I found this really pretty made well sweater. And like I said before, I do pick up sweaters year round. This has a really pretty bubble sleeve and kind of like this cinch um, wrist. That's the tag made well, it's a size medium. It's a cashmere blend. Made well is hit or miss. Sometimes it'll sell quickly, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll just have to wait and see how this does. Next is something that I've heard other resellers talk about. It's the brand Duluth Trading Company. I don't know if you can see that. I've never sold this brand before. So this is a trial piece for me. It's an oversized tunic and a size extra, extra large. Really cute, but I've heard resellers say that this brand sells quickly for them, so we're going to try it out and see how it does for me. Um, I've listed this already for about $25. This also is another brand that's new to me. It's 5.11 Tactical, and it's like an outdoorsy men's brand. And these are like some cargo style pants. I found several of these, so I have a pair of blue ones. And let me show you, these are down here. I have a pair of blue ones, a pair of gray ones, oh, a pair of gray ones, a pair of green ones, and a pair of brown ones. So this would be a perfect bundle if the right person comes by my closet and wants to bundle these. I definitely would give them a great deal. So we'll see how this does. Let's see, moving along to shoes. Um, I cannot remember. These are from a haul from a while ago, so I can't remember if I showed these to you already. So if I did, I apologize. But these are some super cute leopard print booties. And they're by the brand Doce Vida. And they are, I think they're in a size 9. Very cute. They were my size. I would have kept these. They were only $5. And then these Toms, I feel like I showed you guys these. I can't 
can't remember, so I'm showing them again. But they're a pair of Toms. These were, I think they were $8. Um, so these have been listed for a little bit, I think, in my closet. Um, but I couldn't remember if I showed them to you. So yeah, we'll see how these do. I'm not sure they're going to sell before the springtime. And we are moving right out of winter, so I'm not sure if people will be buying boots right now. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. And then I've got <laughs> this bag of stuff. So let's see what I have in here to show you. Um, I have not inventoried this or taken pictures yet, so it still has the tag. These are a pair of jeans by the brand Cabby. They're a high rise straight and they were $5. Really cute. So I haven't looked up comps to see how much I'll get for these. Hopefully at least $30. Okay, I hit the jackpot with shoes. I got these pair of Chucks Converse. Really cute. They're this satin kind of Converse. These, I made the mistake. I thought they were regular, for like regular price in the um, Goodwill. It's $50 or $5 for shoes or three, sometimes $3.89. So I thought these were going to be $5. And when I got to the register, they were marked at $8.99. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to have to try to get this off. Um, if I had known that they were $9, I would not have picked them up. But you live and you learn. So I went ahead and picked them up. If they don't sell, they are my size, so I can wear them. Um, I also got this. Third Love t-shirt bra. I really enjoy selling bras because they sell quickly. They're easy to list, easy to photograph. Third Love is a great brand to look for. And this was in a size 36D. So it's also a great size to have that. Just a few more things, just two more things. I found these men vans. They're like a gray black with a checkerboard. These are in a size 10. Haven't looked up comps. I'm not sure how much I'll get for these, but I like those, so we'll see. And last but not least, I think I'm gonna keep these for myself because they are my size. And they're these Nike. I think they're the Nike React. They are kind of beat up. I need to clean them. You can see a little bit of the dirt here on the side. But they look to be in pretty good condition. The toes aren't coming undone. A lot of tread left. So since I am working out more, I do need a new pair of tennis shoes. So these will be perfect for that. So hopefully um, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you are inspired to go out and start thrifting for spring. Let me know down in the comments if you have started to buy things for spring and on your way out, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. I am trying to put out a video once a week. I do work full time, so um, once a week at least on a video. So thank you guys for stopping by. I really appreciate you coming by my channel and I hope you have a great day.